Uh, hello again, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. I hope that this setup, which we had, oops, I had the wrong one on there. Sorry about that. I'm going to click live, not that one. Sorry. I make some coasters, but this is not an after the live. Um, I got my lights fixed. Um, anyway, I did want to show you real quick. If anybody watched the uh, live last night, here is the one that um, Joe Patty did. Okay. She got some really, really spooky looking wispies right there. I'm going to let them dry one more night. And then tomorrow I'm going to sand them, sand around here and clear coat them and then take off the tape. Anyway, this is uh, what mine looked like. So anyway, I did a um, dip the other day. Let me move these over just a little bit. I did a dip the other day where I dipped one canvas into the other. I think I know what I did wrong. Okay. I watched a channel, Sherry's Life. I'm going to give a shout out to Sherry's Life. I think that's what it is. I'll make sure it's posted below in the video. And I'll try to remember to put an I card. Anyway, um, she did one and she said she realized what she was doing wrong after she watched Sandra Lett. So... I'm going to see if that was my problem. You don't put anything on the canvas that you turn upside down. These are two canvases. I put this right here so you can see. It's the cheap ones that they sell at um, Michael's Artist Loft. And um, I'm putting in my pigments uh, first because these are powders. This is um, bright gold. By just resin now these are two new ones this one is called synthetic fine white satin um, it's a mica powder normally normally used in um makeup you know like nail polish and whatnot but they said it's also good for resin so okay and that's not going to be my background. My background is actually going to be that uh, new turquoise I started using the other day. Caribbean Current. Okay, come on, lid. There we go. This one is called Flash Red Wine. Both the white and the red wine are both by JustPigments.com. Um, I will put the names of them down below. I am not affiliated with them. I'm not like a spot they're not like my sponsor or anything. I just found them and I like their I like their colors. So that's what I've been doing. Is I've been using their colors. Okay, now this is gonna be for my turquoise. See, um, I'm trying it in a squeeze bottle just to see if it works because I'm gonna I don't want to have to keep opening that big cork can. Anyway, so let me put some resin in here and now that I've got it all at the bottom I'm not gonna get unicorn farts out of my cup which is what I call it when you um, steer you put your mica in after the resin okay it's best to put your um, powder in first um, mica what you know whatever powder form you're using okay It's always best to put that in first. I don't know how much I'm going to have left um, to do coasters. So we will see. I mixed only um, six ounces. These are two 8x10 canvases. I got them taped on the back. I got them prepped with, um, with um, push pins in them. So they should be good to go I did not prep the actual canvas itself because they are so I mean yeah they're a little they might be a little saggy we'll see after I get resin on them but um I don't think it's gonna make a difference really in this small of a canvas okay so I didn't prep it with any um, anything on the front or back 
Okay, let me lean my cup over here. Now, I'm going to add this. This is going to be my base coat. This is bare oil-based paint. Um, I think it's a semi-gloss enamel. I'll, I'll put it down in the description. I showed it in another video. I gotta get some more of these bottles. Believe it or not, these bottles right here, these little tiny ones, I get at a store that's uh, south of me um, called NASCO. And believe it or not, these are for um, uh, t-shirt tie-dye. And I used to do that. I used to do that. I tried that at one time when I used to do farmer's markets and whatnot. Okay, here is my base coat. Now the reason I'm put... Okay, there's two reasons why I'm putting down a base coat. A, you need something for the resin to slide across. And B, with this, with this oil base down and then you put the other stuff over it, you might get cells. Now... Because I'm doing a dip, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna uh, blow that much heat on it. I mean, we will see. Okay, this is. Is this the red wine? Wait a minute. Let me get it mixed up and see. Yeah, this was the uh, flash red wine. So, ooh, that is so pretty. I'm hoping this doesn't look like Christmas colors. I mean, that is a turquoise, and this is a burgundy, and then I got a white and a gold, but the burgundy, I mean, the the turquoise, the Caribbean uh, current is going to be what's on the bottom. Anyway, here is this red wine. Um, I bought way too big of a bag. I didn't know that it was going to be that big, so I don't know if I'm going to use it all. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm getting jars for them. I got these jars, and I had like 10 of them I got from um, China. I'm sorry, I know, but it's cheaper to buy it over there. I should be American and buy American, but got to save money where you can, right? Um, so I did put the powder in there because it was a really super big bag. Ooh, look at how glossy that... Or, shiny that is okay let me mix up the gold and I'm gonna have to do my alcohol rag I keep a cut up t-shirt rag next to me I put a some 91 percent alcohol on there and the um, alcohol on the rag cleans the resin off of my gloves because you don't want to, you know, any, any color you might get on there, too. Okay, this is the bright gold. Okay, let me move this guy. This is going to be the one I pour everything on, and then this is going to be the one I dip over it. Uh, let me get my alcohol rag real quick. I'm trying not to make this too long of a video. I realize my videos are turning out like 30 minutes. I want to thank everybody who showed up last night for the live. It was my best friend's birthday and her and Barbie both turned 60 this year. So we uh, had a birthday party last night during my live and I taught her how to uh, how to do resin the way I know how to do it. Because she does resin but she doesn't do resin paintings that much. Okay, I think she does most of hers in molds. I'm not sure. Anyway, and we had a blast. So if you weren't here, go back and look at um, the one from Wednesday, the live from uh, from yesterday, which was uh, April 17th. I had to look for a minute. I forgot what day it was yesterday. And we were just cutting up a uh, Barbie. We had a Barbie doll there because, of, because it was both their birthdays. And Barbie decided she's going to try to paint. So, opening sequence in that video was Barbie sitting in front of a painting. And then I looked over and I said, uh-uh, Barbie can't paint. She's, she, it's her birthday. Anyway, okay, real quick. Whenever I turn on my heat gun for the first time, or when I turn on my torch, I point it away from my uh, canvas. You know, you don't, you don't want this going at your canvas. You turn it on for about five seconds. 
dust collects up in there overnight, okay? Um, it might be, I don't know, you know, just dust collects in there, okay? The time it takes me to tell you to do this, I've done blowing all those dust boogers out of my, out of my gun. And now I can go over it and heat it up real quick just to make it a little bit of liquid, you know, to make it a little thinner because I'm going to uh, smooth it out and put it off get it all the way up to the edge and make sure I have enough on here because I don't want a really really thick coat although it's going to have to be for two canvases and I'm going to have to go around too I didn't paint this canvas I probably should have if I was using a white base it would have been okay but I don't like white edges when the top isn't white so I will have to go around and fix my sides after I'm done pouring. But easy way to fix your sides, if any of you do any acrylic pouring, you know, and that is to um, is to um, pick up paint that's dripped off the edge. I'm just doing my corners real quick because those are the hardest ones, hardest things to coat. So anyway, okay. Wipe off my fingers so I don't get anything else on it. And I, I think that's what I was looking for. I just opened my bottle of hardener and I had a little piece of the metal seal, the, the aluminum seal that was over it. I had a little piece of that. Um, wait a minute, come on. You're a little too thick right there. Um, and it flew in the cup and I couldn't get it out. I saw it in there when I was mixing. I said, well, when I see it, I will get rid of it whenever it shows up on the on the canvas. And I just found it and got rid of it. Okay, now, I'm also going to try to get this to look like a little flower. So, first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to, let me see. I will just do some dots going around. I want to do five of them. And I'm going to do a couple more little dots on top of it. Mm, just a tiny bit more right there. Okay, because I'm going to... Hopefully, it'll look like um, the flowers that uh, Fiona does. Because hers are always, always so pretty. Okay. A little bit of white in each one. I'm trying not to take too long, but you don't want to pour too fast. And these lights are killing me again. They are so hot. They're 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 really super bright. You probably can't tell on the camera um, what happened to my to my what I call my sweat rag, a towel I used. I'm sorry. When you get to be my age, you can sweat real easy. Okay. Um, I'm not going to say why, but I'm sure all the older women that are watching already know why. And I bet you the men that are married to them know why too, because they go through it. Anyway, now I'm putting a little bit of gold in here. Now, I'm not going to really do much to it after I bring them apart, so I'm thinking I want to do a little bit of gold lines around it. Maybe go through it. Okay, I need more. See, I knew I mixed too much of the colors. Okay, here we go. Now I want a little bit of gold in the middle. I don't know what that's going to look like, but we will find out together, won't we? Okay, now I want a little bit of white on top of that. Now I'm going to do a little bit of white on each of these. And I'm going to use a stick. I know it's taking a while. 
Well, I'm using a uh, Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. Long working time, 45 minutes. So, hmm. Kind of want it to go over there. I want it to keep it centered. Uh, I can't remember exactly how many dots she does and how many layers she does. I'm just trying to recreate something that she does. Well, okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Okay, I'm going to stand up. This this canvas has nothing on it. I am going to lay it directly on top, not pushing down too hard, but I want to make sure it's got contact. So, I'm going in there with my fingers. Now, this is not going to look exactly like Fiona's because when Fiona pulls up her corners, that's when it makes it look like a flower. But this might be pretty close, okay? Okay, um, here goes nothing. Let's pray that it got on both canvases. Mm. the suction well I got a flower okay I need some green over here but I was kind of thinking that would happen but that's okay that's okay I can fill in these little dry spots um, don't really have any I got dry spots on the edge over here but I think it turned out nice. As a matter of fact, um, the camera is looking at it kind of what I would say. Okay, let me move this over some to get rid of the glare off of this. Well, can't. I'm trying to get rid of the glare off of it. Okay, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and I'm going to fill in these dry spots with just plain green because that's all it needs right here doesn't need any of the color it just needs the green and then I'm gonna get rid of the bubbles and that's gonna be all she wrote well except for I'll do some coasters okay I will admit that I do have some of the other three colors left I don't need green on that so I can do um, just trying to get it right up to the color without it going over the color. I don't know if this is the right way to do this, but I got to fill in these little dry spots that it left. So, I mean, I'm not contaminating my stick with any of the other colors. Oh, that's a white dot. I thought that was dry canvas right there. That's a white dot. Okay. I'm going to have to bring it all over the edge, too. I can see that. So, I'm just trying to cover up What's where I don't have the green color where you can see the canvas. And I haven't got any of the other colors on this yet. Wait a minute. I am just trying to make sure. Okay, let's see what I got over here. I want to get some up near the edge so I can then push it over with my finger. I think they actually look like flowers. I probably should have put more of this on. 
but I thought I had enough on there. Okay, let me see. So, I hope all the seasoned resin experts aren't looking at it saying, Oh, you're doing it wrong! Because I'm just trying to fill in my dry spots. Okay. Let me go around and get it over to the edge. I don't want dry edges. I am going to also use some of it to um, do the sides. Okay, I turn this one around. So that's the way I think it's going to hang. That's that's really the way I think it's going to hang. Okay. I need a little bit more green down here. I don't have enough. So that's what I I should have painted the the canvas the color of this. Then I wouldn't have to worry about the sides. Oh well, you live and learn. I was just trying to get it get something on the canvas so I didn't want to take the time to to do the painting but I still think it's gonna look good I still do think it's gonna look good okay let me turn this little guy around okay so I'm not gonna keep you guys um, for the coasters I'm just gonna be pouring the color on there and blowing it around um, so I hope that everybody has learned how to do this now. Um, learn from my mistakes. Don't do what I did the other day and put the background base on both canvases. Um, that's what I did wrong the other day and that's where it messed up. Okay. So let me give this guy some heat to get rid of air bubbles. I will bring it in for a close-up. I still got to fix the sides, but I won't do that on camera because that's going to take me a while to do. I will bring it in for a close-up. Okay. Just ignore the edges because I know they're dry and I got to get some more pigment on there. Okay, here's this one. This is the one I had poured the color on. And then here's this one that I where am I there I am um, and that is actually white dots right there okay so anyway um, I hope you learned from this um, let me know what you think of it down in the comments um, if I did anything that that you think is totally wrong in what I'm doing tell me please because I am not a resin expert I just love experimenting so anyway um if you haven't subscribed yet, please do and hit the little bell for the notification so you can see my next video. It'll notify you of my next video. Um, and I love the resin right out of you guys. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.